terms of the construction machinery, uh, we are we are very happy that some of uh, the complex machineries are being uh, uh, you know brought into India and also manufactured into uh, India or remodeled in India. We have been using the tunnel boring machines on some of our underground metro projects, which are very complex, and you know that helps us accelerate the work do more complex projects. Uh, then we have projects like the Trans Arbor Sea Link where you know, uh, we are using barges and uh, cranes to erect uh, almost uh, uh, you know, sections which weigh more than 100 tons in the middle of the sea. So you know, this happens when we work together with our partners in the construction machinery uh, space and develop solutions like this. We see the sustainability related projects as uh, a significant market for us going forward. Uh, things like green hydrogen are going to be very very relevant uh, in days to come uh, as uh, we move rapidly on our journey towards decarbonization. So uh, the battery manufacturing plants, uh, some of the panel, solar panel manufacturing giga factories, uh, you know, uh, green hydrogen projects. So all of these projects will need the construction industry to pitch in to build these projects at a fast pace uh, so that it can be scaled faster and uh, the journey to decarbonization can be accelerated. So that's one part of how we will support the journey. Uh, the second is as I said to decarbonize as much as we can uh, at our sites and uh, you know may it be uh, water uh, recycling, uh, made the alternate power as I mentioned before, uh, sustainable fuels. So we have to look at the whole carbon footprint during our construction and how we can keep reducing that and eventually get to a zero emissions at our site. Uh, this is the whole ecosystem we have to work towards and uh, when that happens it will be a great, uh, you know, great achievement for the whole industry. Today we are also facing a, a shortage of skilled labor. So when we look at what's going to happen in future, that uh, the shortage of skilled labor is going to be a strong headwind for our uh, infrastructure projects. Technicians, foremen, uh, operators, uh, they all need a certain uh, level of uh, you know, certification to be able to do their jobs well, more and more training. So uh, we invest a lot in skill development, uh, we work with industry bodies, uh, uh, we work with the National Skill Development Council, uh, we have been uh, regularly conducting trainings uh, on a weekly basis, we have conducted almost 6,000 trainings uh, every year uh, and this is to upgrade those skill sets. Looking forward to uh, attending BOMA and uh, interacting uh, with different stakeholders. See, uh, finally, as I said, we have to be successful and deliver predictable projects uh, on time, on budget, and for that, to get together uh, with uh, all our partners, uh, may it be uh, some of the government agencies, uh, which are very critical to make this work and work with us. Uh, uh, regulators, uh, manufacturers of construction machines uh, who are very critical component of delivering a project. Looking at what technology developments are happening, uh, also having a forum to discuss our aspirations and goals for the future and how the industry can support us. So all this and more uh, can happen uh, and will happen during this event and uh, I look forward to 